Hey guys, welcome to my Range Rover channel. My name is Serge and in today's video, what I'm curious to find out is will I have the same uh, transmission issue uh, that I had earlier after I actually go to this next door. So I'm here at Aldi, it's still the same day. Uh, the vehicle drove uh, fine for the last hour. And not that I've noticed any uh, differences um, after I mean before the problem occurred because you know everything is good until it's not so anyways i'm getting ready to park let me show you uh me doing that and then the result of okay, it here's my dash and here's my shift leader let me park it i let go of the brake uh now i engage the brake and i shift into gear now i'm shutting the vehicle off so guys once i come back hopefully when i start the vehicle up uh it will actually engage but before I let you go, before I actually go, um, while I still remember this, I want to tell you one more thing. Uh, and keep in mind, if this is happening to you, please uh, write it down in the comments below. I've been noticing on some starts, it it takes longer for it to start. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, next time I come back, I'm going to try to start it and show you how long it actually spins the starter before it starts. So... I'm not sure if there is some future problem that I'm going to have uh, because of that. Um, so who knows? Also, it had it hasn't had an oil change um, in almost 12,000 miles. So I need to buy some oil for it. So uh, I could actually do uh, an oil change for this later on. So anyways, see you in just a bit. Apparently, uh, still a little bit early and I'm not gonna wait. The store looks uh, like it's closed. So it's a little bit before eight o'clock. Um, but anyways, let's see if my Range Rover starts after being parked and uh, the, you know, the vehicle is shut off. But first, let me show you my vehicle. Check out this beauty. I do have some uh, rim curb rash. Some of this I caused but I had to kind of get out of the way of some vehicles that was getting ready to crash into me and got a little bit too close to the curb, but in a very slow speed, but 22s are very easy to scratch because uh, they're very close, you know, to the edge and stuff. So it's very easy to get stuff like this, but this is not something I did. However, on the other side I did, and I didn't, I didn't do this either, as you could see, after I started owning it, I actually spray painted this black here. Um, and obviously I did not, uh, did not send it or nothing. So paint's coming off, but it is what it is. So anyways, let's see what happens. First, I want to show you how long it takes for it to start up. So I'm not engaging the key yet i just basically put it into second position so let's go what do you think about how long that was is that normal i mean i'm a first time a range rover owner uh and that's kind of how it's been you know doing it. it's like it just seems like it spins a little too long and i think that was not as long as i've seen it uh sometimes so anyways i'm engaging the parking brake I mean the, the the brake pedal and it shifted just fine. I guess I was lucky on that one. Uh, what I will do now is uh, I'm gonna head to Walmart and uh, I gotta pick up some oil uh, for this Range Rover so I could actually uh, do an oil change. So I will record a video of me uh, doing an oil change in a later video. Um, but with this being said, um, yeah i just wanted to check to see if it shifts uh it shifted not that i really needed to post this but uh one of the reasons i'm posting this is like you might have just had this issue right and it might be scary to park uh somewhere and go to the store or go to a gas station or something maybe you go to work will you be able to uh, shift it into gear now in my situation i was able to but what would i do if it would not shift well very simple because the only thing that would be happening is that you just can't take uh your shifter out of park so here's what i would do i would remove the shifter as i've done uh, in a previous video 
and um, I will actually, yeah, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I will actually add that to this video in case you're watching it for the first time. I'm just gonna add that portion where I remove it, and I'm gonna show you everything that you must do uh, in order for you know to engage it back into uh, drive or, or whatnot, you know. Um, and uh, by doing so, you could get home, or maybe you need to drive to the mechanic. You know, whatever you gotta do to save yourself some money on the tow. Um, by no means, that's gonna be a permanent solution, but it will get you where you gotta go or get you home or something, because, uh, you know, you will eventually need to fix your, well, replace your Range Rover shifter, and maybe you got a spare one, maybe you could buy, buy one on eBay, because that is the problem. Or you can just repair it by taking it apart, uh, getting rid of all the stuff that's um, that's corroded or whatnot, or resoldering some connections. Um, you know, what have you. You know, if you're, I guess, electrical engineer, I guess you could do that. Um, but anyways, what I would do, I would just replace it um, or fix it if it's very easy, if it's obvious. Um, but in my situation, uh, when I just messed with the wiring, if once I took it off, just like shook them or whatever, uh, I don't even think I did it rough, just, you know, just enough. Uh, that solved the issue. Now, for how long? I don't know. Maybe I could be driving like this for months. Maybe this could occur same day, you know. And of course, I will note it uh, if it does come back that same, same day. But anyways, guys. In the next clip, I want to show you how to remove your shifter and how to, you know, put it into drive or neutral, whatever you need to actually do. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy uh, your the rest of your day. Good luck with your Range Rover and see you guys in the next video. And here's the clip. All right, guys. So this is the code that I'm still having. Um, P0659 actuator supply voltage a circuit high. I've done a little research and uh, turns out um, what gets ruined or corroded, uh, it's right underneath here. So let's go ahead and actually um, remove this plastic here and the shifter. The shifter has um, uh, a thing that you could press. So go ahead and press down on it and pull up, okay? So if you noticed, if you're pressing on it, it kind of like pulls up right there. So this will help you uh, release it. Now with the shifter released, you need to uh, pull this up. So this lift it up first over here. Now I'm gonna pull on it from there, from the front and just basically pull it out. Um, I watched another video, but the person has disassembled everything in the front too. Uh, you don't need to do all that. Um, so I actually made a different video uh, prior to this and I messed around with my bigger computer, like a $1,500 computer. It actually made um, this problem happen uh, when the shifter actually stopped shifting. Um, and I recorded a video and it's actually on my channel that you could see and actually show already how this removes that video but i've recorded it at night so this will give you a better idea uh in the daytime but anyways uh the problem is going to be over here where where some of these wires go the problem's like right there um i will make another video where i'm gonna you know get in and stuff like that to try to to try to fix it but for now um Here's what I want to do. Uh, I want to see uh, if I could just leave Walmart because, uh, you know, I'm not about to be doing any soldering or cutting wires or anything like that because, you know, it, things could become worse, obviously. Um, so if you're trying to basically just get it into, you know, to shift, uh, you can just, just click here. You see how that like shifts right there? You could click it and that will allow you to to release it all right so as you know it's not going to start uh if it's released so we're going to start up the vehicle did that actually disappear 
my shifter actually started shifting um, and as you could tell the the, uh, the code was still present but what I did do is I did just kind of like fiddle with some of these wires back here which probably has done nothing uh, but they're probably corroded and simple fact that I actually removed this and shifted around um, helped but what I am going to need to do is just disassemble like all of the stuff here and just take a look at the wiring and put some dielectrical grease on the connectors uh, and if they are corroded I need to clean up the corrosion and obviously resolder some of the connections and stuff like that but at this point the problem is gone I'm able to as you can see when I press the brake pedal down it does uh, work that's kind of like what's it doing and we kind of need that to happen and that was not happening before so to install this we're gonna need to move the shifter um, slightly forward um, you need to attach that then slide it forward insert the front portion first and then slide that in and then we're gonna put the shifter well let's see I'm just gonna put it into drive <laughs> just in case and uh, I'm gonna put my my shifter back uh, now that I'm in drive, I could continue going where I'm going, but and I hate to do that. But let's see if I put it into park. Can I get it out of park? Yes, I can. So that is good. 